Well, greetings. I'm back with you. Hopefully you enjoyed my last video about some traditional and soft ADR skills. I've been asked again and my pleasure to talk a little bit about my, I guess, maybe leadership style in terms of public speaking and engaging with the public. I think, um, as has been true of many leaders in history, speaking and leadership has to be an organic process that certainly is not ever perfect and is certainly learned over time, but hopefully one can kind of find their own voice because it's so very important for unique leaders who are not traditionally tapped into to be creative forces in society and that involves dynamic transformative leadership and an ability to speak and to write and to think and to add to the public conversation in a way that sometimes our current leaders aren't doing. I like to say that I'm an organic public speaker. I try to bring a intellectualism to what I speak and write, as well as an approachability. So often in my speaking and writing, you will find references to Shakespeare or other great thinkers, as well as maybe it's not quite as popular culture as some, but references to shows that I like because they're auditory based, such as the West Wing. I think also, and certainly I struggle with this, all students with disabilities who are developing their own voice and way of speaking and writing have to struggle with maybe more, maybe less than I do now, how you incorporate technology into that. For myself, I grew up on the cusp of accessible technology, so maybe my mindset's not always towards using technology in my formal deliveries. Uh, whereas younger, I know law students with disabilities are far more technological savvy, such as is Samra with social media and other tools to get the message out that I find myself very uh, needing to continue to learn and continue to use. Certainly the Mental Atlantic Lyceum I've co-founded, we have a very uh, robust, if emerging, presence on social media tools and technological tools, such as the website that we're currently renovating. I like to try not to use technology in my speaking except for PowerPoints. Um, I also try to have it be organic and off the uh, cuff, I guess. Um, but certainly other speakers with disabilities who are practice lawyers like to use things like Braille still. Uh, there's a perception that Braille is not often used by blind leaders, um, but uh, many blind leaders do use and do find Braille very, very critical to their public speaking, whether that's in the courtroom or in the boardroom. Other people, such as myself, when I have to, like to use laptop with programs called JAWS, which are accessible screen reading devices or software that translates information that a sighted person sees on the screen of a computer, a laptop, or a desktop, and verbalizes that to them. Although Braille and JAWS can be mixed together in what's called refreshable Braille displays. And that looks like another little piece of hardware that's usually at the bottom of a keyboard or built into the bottom of a keyboard and the Braille comes up as various uh, point counts. Braille is a system of six dots that translates information from, say, a sighted person's A, B, C, D into certain number combinations that a person sees in their, I guess, in your head, if you will, as A, B, C, or D. It comes from ancient France when it was a military code and then eventually uh, transformed and translated into a code system for blind people to use. Other blind people really like to uh, use other kinds of technology. I was just talking to Samra here about something called the uh, Victor Stream or Victor Stream Plus now I think it's called. That actually evidently can be hooked into a teleprompter system and that's probably what I'll be using more and more of as I seek elected office as a leader with a disability with a photogenic guide dog. Um, I hope some of those additional thoughts help. Uh, certainly I want to always be a mentor to younger law students with disabilities coming up behind me uh, or um, in the same time frame as me. So please always feel free to contact the Mid-Atlantic Lyceum. Our greatest goal and uh, voluntary type of uh, value is to promote, develop, cultivate leaders with disabilities and include them in our projects.